It's going to be hot in some of our valleys, but we are keeping it nice and cool for some of our coastal areas where we're starting out with the clouds and fog. Take a look at Fremont this morning. We can see some of the clouds moving by a light wind and our temperatures for the East Bay will start out at around 60 degrees, but that sun breaks out quickly. We'll be in the mid 70s at 11 o'clock and then eventually making it into the mid to upper 80s for some of our parts of the East Bay where those temperatures in spots like Concord reach 88 degrees. Martinez will see a high of 85 and 75 in Oakland, while San Francisco will be in the upper 60s, Novato reaching 84, and Santa Rosa in the upper 80s. But we do get less of an ocean breeze tomorrow, so some of our valleys start to come up another degree or two, and that will definitely be the trend on Saturday with Fairfield hitting 99 degrees. But then you compare that to Half Moon Bay, where we'll see a high of 66. So if you're going to be driving around the Bay Area, be prepared for all kinds kinds of weather, jackets, shorts, sunscreen, water bottles, all of that stuff. And the heat across the West continues as a strong dome of high pressure is causing that air to sink as it sinks, it descends and it also warms up. So we're going to see more of that as the heat continues to expand across the West with some record high temperatures. For us, we have enough of an ocean breeze to keep those temperatures more moderated. So in spots like Santa Rosa, we're headed for 92 degrees on Saturday. But then as we get a strong breeze picking up. A shift in the wind brings those highs into the low 80s by Tuesday into Wednesday and our inland temperature is just going up and down a few degrees into next week as we see slightly cooler air coming in by next Wednesday, but it's going to be hot this weekend. But San Francisco is where you can go and cool off upper 60s throughout the weekend and those king tides return overnight at 1231 a.m.